React to So Luminati took Nate Life Girl. Oh my goodness gracious, man. What the fuck? Not Nate's life, bro. Now, you know, I know the majority of this situation. Um, we're gonna watch both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and watch Soul's version and Nate, my nigga Nate's version. Um, but all I can say, next time I be in LA, I'm gonna say this right up top. Next time I be in LA, this nigga Nate better have dropped this bitch Michaela, bro. She, he better have dropped her, bro. Nigga, you don't need to be going crazy over a girl like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? She's an eater. She's a fucking eater. Okay? Like, you need to drop that girl, nigga. You're holding yourself back. Focus on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just too much. It's toxic. Get on with yourself. Focus. And be the person you're supposed to be, bro. Because you're not living up to your fucking potential right now, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show love to Nate Slotin, bro. Because, nigga, we fucking reacted to his shit on our channel, bro. This nigga got us hella hits on our fucking channel, bro. So, I'm going to show love. You need to drop that damn girl, bro. But, we're going to look at Soul's version and um, Nate's version. I dropped the whole bottle of Henny in this motherfucker, man. Damn. Let me know if it's too loud, too low. I'll turn up just a little bit. Save me for another trip. What is you? What are you talking about? I got veneers, bro. Most of y'all know I got some temporary. Bro, and this nigga so is full of fucking excuses, my nigga. This nigga makes me so fucking mad because when I was at this nigga's level, nigga, I would have already been at a million, bro. This nigga is so fucking mentally lazy. It's not funny. This nigga's excuse for not uploading the last like two weeks since he uploaded this video was that he was getting teeth put in his mouth, nigga. How about you record yourself as soon as you got the teeth? Life changing experience, new teeth. Barely didn't have it. I know you had a lisp or whatever, my nigga, but stop fucking making excuses, nigga. You're disappointing your fan base. You're disappointing people that are fucking rooting for you, my nigga. The fuck is wrong with you? My officials, my officials gonna be here too. This nigga uploading once a month and shit, my nigga. Come on, bro. All right, let's skip on right to it. You know he tells like his eight-minute storytelling shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, hold on. We pissed steps apart. It's my fault. Okay, here we go. We got the part. Okay. Hold on. What? Bro, these hoes be so scandalous, bro. You got me fucked up, bro. That's automatic cut off. Why are you asking somebody else? It doesn't even have to be so Illuminati. It could be somebody else. You could be asking my nigga McQueen. My nigga Pane, you can ask ZSB. It don't matter. Like, why are you asking somebody else what your advice is about Twitch, my nigga? When you know I'm an entertainer, you know what I'm saying? Like, these these girls don't fall for none of that shit, bro. Don't fall for none of that shit. Why are you asking somebody else? You know what I'm saying? If you ain't talking about me beating them teams up, then shit, I'm not gonna be Okay. And this motherfucker told me that he won't tell her type shit. I he won't tell her. We got, bro, look. And look, y'all know I ain't the type of nigga to show messages, so I'm gonna just do this because we got some deep ass messages. Oh hell no. Nah. That's Michaela. Not only that, on Instagram, it's it got deep, but it's like I'm gonna I'm gonna break everything down to y'all. It just it just 
Oh my gosh, my nigga. Damn, nigga. That was a fucking Harry Potter novel of fucking messages, nigga. Nigga, I should have fucked around and wrote a book off of those messages, my nigga. Nigga, I should have quizzed a fucking high school basketball team on them fucking... Oh my gosh, man. Nay, you better leave this girl, bro. I better not see you with her by the time I'm back in LA on Thursday, bro. Or don't even come near me. Straight up, bro. I don't want none of that type of energy around me, nigga. I'll fuck with you heavy, Nate. You need to drop that damn girl, bro. Basically, she told me. Hoodie so in the building. Look, she told me that this nigga won't help her with Twitch, right? So I'm like, what type of nigga won't help his girl get the bag? What type of nigga is you? Nate? This, like, this is what I'm telling her. I'm like, you gotta go out your way to ask a random nigga. Like, she asked me. Bro, but already... Just hearing this story off rip, and it's nothing, it's, it's not about so, because like, this is what Michaela's telling him, so this is just what he's assuming that this is going on. But knowing Nate personally, bro, Nate is not that type of nigga. Like, when I was trying to get my shit together, like, I finally just got my internet to start in my apartment in Los Angeles, but the first three weeks, I didn't have internet because I, one, picked the wrong internet service provider in my area, so I had to cancel the motherfuckers. And then I had to wait another couple of weeks for them to come in. Because when you're in a bigger city, it takes forever for, like, certain people, like, cables or building or fucking internet to come in. Because it's just so much fucking, like, high in demand. So, like, Nate, bro, like, I literally fucking, bro. And mind you, you guys can even tell from my past videos. Me and Nate really never was, like, like this, my nigga. We were never close. Like, I was around him, like, when he first broke up with the Ashley girl. Like, around Playlist last year. But, like, that was just it. But he was always solid. And, like, still, too, like, I would just fucking be like, I hit him up one time during the day. And this nigga would, like, be like, bro, yeah, slide over. It ain't shit. Come and upload your damn video, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, bro, real talk right now, bro. Shout out to McQueen, my nigga Chino, and my nigga Nate right now, bro. If it wasn't for them nigga, my uploads would be fucking shit these last two months. You know what I'm saying? Month. Low ball in, but two months tops. You know what I'm saying? Because it's been hell. When you're moving across from the East Coast to the West Coast, bro, it's a new type of vibe, bro. It's like, it's harder to get adjusted with not even just like mentally, but just like trying to get your shit together in a crib because it's, it's different companies, it's different people, different wait times. You know what I'm saying? And so I always respect people, especially when it comes to getting a bag type shit, bro. Nate is that type of nigga. Like, you could call this nigga at like five o'clock in the morning and be like, bro. My internet is down or my internet's not working, bro. Can I please slide over for like 20 minutes and upload this video for tomorrow? And he'll just let you slide over and leave, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I know, like, she had to be fucking flipping sides, bro. But she gotta ask me randomly. Like me. Asking me. You got your girl out here I know, like, it ain't that. It ain't like that. But, bro, your girl shouldn't have to be asking people for help when you are a YouTuber. You supposed to be right. Right, bro. She, she so I'm like, damn, I'm, I'm, I'm hurt. Yeah, that's that victim so shit like, females is play. She okay? I ask her, is you okay? I always check up on her because we had deeper conversations that I can't talk about. <laughs> hey, man, I'm going to tell you this, man. Gold digger rule one on one, bro. When a girl is tired of a nigga that got money, they make up any fucking thing and try to be emotional as fuck on social media so they can be ready to get on to the next nigga. Like, they do that shit so they can have people. And it's no shots to, you know what I'm saying? The demigod in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Even though you threw some shots 30 seconds into the video after you haven't uploaded for three weeks, it's okay. Um, you know what I'm saying? They do shit like that because they wait for the next nigga to come along and be on some shit like, oh, uh, da di da di da di da di da. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you okay type shit? And you know what I'm saying? If so, was a simp ass sweet nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, low key, bro, Michaela could be in this nigga's house right fucking now if this nigga was sweet. And fucking ascent. But he knows what he's doing, obviously. You feel me? So, I'm just letting you guys know that right now, man. Most of the time, if you see females out here just, like, being over-emotional, putting all their business on social media and shit, bro, they a gold digger. And they just waiting for the next nigga to pick up on that attention. You know what I'm saying? Attention is the root of all evil. Remember that shit. Not money. You know, I'm not that type of nigga. It's deep, bro, that I can't talk about with them. But I'm like, is you okay and shit, right? Then one particular day... Bro, before I show y'all this, bro, basically, bro, Nate, Michaela is a YouTube slave. She can't do 
shit with Nate. Like, Nate won't let her do shit. He break up with her every week. She feel trapped, but she can't, for some reason, she can't leave. She, she, she like a slave, basically. She said they had a Tato and Cuban doll situation. Like, it get deep, bro. But, like, I ain't gonna talk about all that. I'ma just speak what's going on right now. Now, look. Basically, bro. Oh, my goodness. Those videos like for skits and shit. I didn't really look into those videos when he said breaking up with her and shit. They were actually breaking up. That's crazy. You need help, and I'm doing this for you. Like you gotta stop letting this nigga treat you like this, baby. You know I do all I can just to show you you're special. You deserve it. You've been through a lot. You deserve all type of uh, legs. You know what I'm saying? Now look, bro. Basically, dude, they got back together, right? Every time he break up with her, they get back together. All the time. Right? And every time they break up, I swear to God, me, Michaela, we started talking a month ago. This nigga that dumped her about 10 times in one month. He dumped her once a week, bro. Real shit. Right? So, this random time, she texts after they got back together again. She texts me this. She basically texts me. And she showed me the screenshots. Look. She showed me, she sent me the picture of the screenshots. Y'all see, I said, wait, what? I was confused like shit. Hurry up and clear up, you stupid ass bitch. Bro, it did. Now look. She showed me the screenshots. Damn. She's scandalous as hell. She's scandalous. Very scandalous. Bro, look. Let my camera clear up. <laughs> Nigga, what the fuck do you expect? You're using a Logitech. 290 camera! Get yourself a DSLR or GS77X! Nigga! What the fuck? What the fuck do you expect? That shit made me mad right now! Niggas using a fucking webcam and shit getting mad! Nigga, use a fucking regular camera! Damn! Fuck you walking out the seat for, bro? You using a fucking Logitech? What do you expect? Why you niggas think I stopped using a lot of in my regular reactions, nigga? I have a fire-ass reaction from back in the day! And the motherfucker would like blur and shit, nigga. I'll be flapping my tongue and shit. Doing all that fucking shit, and it still be blurry as fuck. I'm like, what the fuck is this, nigga? It's called upgrading the camera, my nigga. These shits are inexpensive. I got like three of these cameras. G7X, my nigga. Like, damn. Fucking get your life together. Shit. What the fuck is this camera turning off for? I'm not ready to use your ass yet. Turn it off. Turn the fuck off! Fuck! Alright, So basically, they got back together, and he broke up with her again. But this time, he broke up with her because of me. <coughs> she said he dumped her. He, I mean, she My nigga, so, come on, bro. I don't care if it was just, it's not even, it just happens to be in because he's talking about it, bro. If it's any nigga and they're texting you like that, and I'm not aware what you, bitch, I'm gonna, first of all, clap your shit in my room and you're getting kicked out of my fucking crib, butt, butterball ass naked in these streets, my nigga. I have no respect for you after that point. You want to text niggas a fucking Harry Potter novel and don't tell me, and on top of that, you know what I'm saying, he's known... You know what I'm saying? For, you know, I'm doing the thing, the theme, it's like type shit. It's raps. So I don't blame fucking Nate for that, bro. I wasn't even surprised he was even able to, you know what I'm saying, continue to get back with her, bro. That's the, that's the, that's the scary part of the manipulation shit, bro. I noticed this girl, Makila, was manipulating him and shit to get for, back. For, <laughs> for DMing me. But the whole time she was DMing me, asking me about Twitch, bro. This is what, this is what it's called. But the fact that he dumped her because of me, like, I'm on this nigga mind, like, he think I look like I was on that tip with his girl. I feel some type of way, so I gotta bring it for the game, I gotta bring it for my nigga. So, nipple. you just sat up here, my nigga. So, come on, my nigga, you know, if she's texting you, you know you don't try and hit. Any niggas don't fucking break up with a girl after that. The thing that's a blessing about Solumati, I will definitely say, now realizing it, and from the lessons I learned from the last clout chasers and shit, 
is that anytime a female entertains so Illuminati, that's how you know the girl is not for you. And that's a blessing. And it's not even with people like so Illuminati. It's it's with people like even like as big as Z's and B Lou, you feel me? Like those are the ultimate tests. Like if, if I ever happen to get in a relationship again, bro, like I want them niggas like to like 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 reach and like reach hard to try and flirt with the girl that I'm with to try and see if she bite. You know what I'm saying? Because when I see that shit, you know what I'm saying? That's why I know this girl ain't for me. Cut her off. You don't got to spaz out on the bitch. You don't got to make no video on the bitch. You feel me? You don't got to spaz out on stream on the bitch. Just drop her and get on to the next one. You know what I'm saying? Now I got that in my head right now. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? People learn. I'm only 22 years old. I'm still learning. Oh my gosh, you got me fucked up. Nate, you better drop this girl. You better drop this girl next time I see you, my man. It's reps. I can't hang around you if you don't drop this girl, bro. No. I'm not even trying to read the text messages. Just look how many text messages this is. To somebody that she has never met in person before. And the other day, everybody was just like throwing crazy shade on this man's name, bro. Yeah, nigga, so she's trying to come live with you, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Go dig a rule 101. When a female is tired of digging, you know what I'm saying? And once they reach to the certain bottom of digging with a certain nigga, man, they try to look for the next nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? Why is she telling you that she's about to be homeless? Open your eyes, my man. I don't even know if I can watch the rest of this video, bro. This is bullshit. Like, she can't take certain, like, got mad because I was commenting on her pics. Bro, I can't, I can't put my emojis on the pics, my nigga. Nigga, what, 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 what? I mean, when it comes to emojis, that's different. You know what I'm saying? If a female's not entertaining the emojis part, I wouldn't really give a fuck. You can comment a hundred emojis, but as long as a bitch ain't liking the comment or she ain't trying to follow you after she'll DM you, I wouldn't really give a fuck about that. So I 